I love that everybody's hot take on Justin Herbert was he was bad. And then he comes out and just balls out and everybody's like, like Pro Football Focus ranked him like eighth. Just, and they said, quote, his sustain, the ability to sustain his numbers is unrealistic. So we put him at eight. But you're ranking current current play. Now nah, we put him at eight because he can't realistically keep achieving these numbers. He keeps achieving these numbers. Yeah, no, we still got him at eight. He's not good enough. It's like, really, guys? They're like hate boner for... They won't admit when they were wrong. It's not everybody's wrong. Just say, hey. What? Uh, Jordan Love? Off the play fake Love. Oh, he's going to take a cool. shot right away. And he fires one that's intercepted. <laughs> yep. It doesn't matter if he doesn't get the ball. And he will take this all the way down to the 38 yard line. That was an insane Watson style play. Oh. I think I'm three and one. It's raining. No, it is. Hold on. Unexpected QB draw. I gained a yard. Is that Sean Payton? Sean Payton is the coach of the Jacksonville Jaguars. I don't see him ever leaving the Saints. Yeah. John Payton's been in this league a long time. Crazy stat, Mike Tomlin has never lost. He's never had a losing season, Mike Tomlin. That's crazy. The Steelers also don't fire coaches very often. They've had like three coaches in 60 years. <laughs> Cowboys. What? They'll throw again. Here's Love on second and ten. And able to find Alan Lazard. So basically you're saying the Packers. The uh pa the Patriots. No, nah, they've had a lot of coaches. Yeah. They had like six coaches in the span of like four years. Remember Mike Singletary? Then John Harbaugh. Well, uh, Chip Kelly. Kyle Shanahan. I don't, uh, the guy before Chip Kelly, I don't remember. He was bad. Basically, it's Packers, Patriots, Saints, Steelers. Well, no, the Saints had a lot of co coaches, too. It's just recently that they became, oh, he fell. Um... Chiefs, Eagles, McVeigh is going to be around for a while. He's only, what, like 34? He's stupid young. Kyle Shanahan, too. Damn. There's a lot of... There's, like, a lot of young coaches, aren't there? Mike Vanderbilt's only in his late or early 40s, too, I think. Yeah, but, like, still, it's crazy. I want the first female NFL coach. There's no reason she, that there can't be a female coach. Well, yeah, but I still want to see it. Fuck you and your diversity! 
I want good football. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who needs diversity? Uh, no. What they do? Really? Neat. There's no reason there can't be female coaches. I get not having female players, obviously, but like, man, female coaches. Is there a female owner? The Bears owner's female, isn't she? Virginia Kasky or whatever? Seems that. Really? All right, because Pizza Guy died. Little Caesars man. That uh, he was the owner of uh, the Red Wings, the Tigers, and I think he owned the Lions. Henry Ford. Oh, neat. No. They, they have Miles Garrett. Not even close. Oh, God, that was terrible. Jalen, man, that was awful. Who has the next factor on your team? Oh, Miles Garrett. Rip. Uh, I think my two linemen and Christian Kirk, and that's it. Yeah, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Have you seen my defense? You can argue I have a similar, if not better, receiving core. Your number one's better. Your number one is better, but you could argue my slot and number two are better. Christian Kirk is my slot receiver, and he's an 84. So a first and ten upcoming from the ah, I'd take Christian Kirk, because at least he can catch. Awesome. Uh, who's your running back? I think I have a better running back than you two, then. Our quarterbacks are probably about the same. I'm faster. But I can run. Josh Allen is ruining my day. Play football in the rain must suck. Yeah. So the problem I have with Tua is he doesn't have the arm talent. <laughs> Same thing with Jalen. 
They're both quick, but Jalen more so than Tua, but they just don't have the arm strength. Well, the, the people are like, oh, well, you don't need to have a big arm to, you know, win games. And it's like, well, yeah, Joe Montana didn't have a cannon, but still. Yeah. They're like, well, Joe Montana didn't have a rocket of an arm. No, but Joe Montana was the best reader of the defense in the history of the universe. Yeah. And they're like, oh, well, Tom Brady, again... He's on a completely different plane than everybody else when it comes to... Ah, uh, when he was super young, but even in his in his mid, like, in his mid-20s, he stopped being able to throw that well just because he, like, he just wasn't a deep ball guy. Peyton Manning was, was really good. I can't wait to see that kid play, Arch Manning. Yeah, but he, I've seen him play a little bit, man. He's basically if Peyton Manning could run. Oof. I tore, uh, my Becton tore his way from Good. 95, Willie! Willie, Willie! Damn, Singletary. So, this NBA draft's going to be real bad. There's no clear number one. It's... No. Nah. Again, there's not a clear number one. You could argue for, like, four people, but it's going to be one of those drafts. It's either going to be stacked or awful. Well, Melo, I don't think can play. I think he's overhyped. I know he's good, but like he's not that good. <laughs> what worries me is if there is a really good player and the Warriors get him with that pick of theirs. Were you talking to me or to her? So for the Patriots, their strong start to the year continues as they're up to five and one. And they'll be able to enjoy this. Um, if the Warriors get a really good pick, well, they have a really good pick. If they get somebody really good, I'm going to be so mad. Uh, I've seen Andre Drummond. I could see them trading That's it today. That's all. I am become death, destroyer of your ears. Do you like alternate history scenarios? They're pretty neat. Like, I like the thought of, like, Germany winning World War One just for the memes. Well, it wouldn't really affect America all that much. It's not World War Two. It's World War One. World War Two is Nazis. World War One was just colonialism. That's actually, you can blame the America and Britain for punishing Germany so hard in World War One, which of course they deserved, but still was the reason Nazis existed in the first place. JJ Watt. So 
So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take it. Oh. Deja vu. Deja vu. You've never been in this place before. Deja vu. <laughs> I should send you that compilation. It's great. Trash can rolls by. Deja vu. <laughs> Good. Deja vu. Never been to this place before. Deja vu, never been to this place before. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Six of nine for ninety-five. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. At their forty-eight. Coming up at halftime, we remind you once again that we're going to check in with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL as we reach now. Hard to believe the halfway. That was insane. Jalen Hurts is. Uh, Jalen Hurts is making a case for wanting to stay the starter. Off play action. Love. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook. And he got sacked. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. It's a gain of 34. Running their plays over and over during the week and often get robotic for an offense. Denzel Mims, touchdown. Do you know who the shortest quarterback to ever play was? Doug Flutie. He was pretty good. Played for a lot of teams. You know who's underrated? Warren Moon. That man had a zip on his ball. He may have thrown the prettiest ball in history. You know what I don't like about Mahomes? His deep ball isn't great. It's not pretty. It's effective, but not pretty. So this will wind up a victory for the New England Patriots. Matt Ryan throws a great ball, too. Statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got banged. Ah, I am still playing the Texans. Quarter. That's deep.